Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Friday, September 7th, 2012. We're very blessed to have in the studio with us Lucy Stone.
Lucy Stone, Audio Tree Live. Thank you all so much. Thank you for having us. Thank you for being in Chicago. You're kicking off your tour tonight. It's an exciting thing. You're on the road for, with Rusted Root for about a month. That's some good stuff. Yeah. So thank you for starting here with us today. It's, it's lovely to have you in the studio with us. Before we get into the next one, though, I'd love to hear maybe about your earliest musical memory as a, as a youngster. Something that you, you know, maybe, you know, as a kid, your first memory into music got you going into music. And we can go around to everybody, but we'll, we'll start with you, Luz. Um, I think my first musical memory is when I was really, really young, probably two or three. And my parents started uh, singing me to sleep every night yeah. in perfect harmony. So thanks for that. They were kind of, <laughs> they were getting me ready. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Very, what type of, what songs were they singing to you? Uh, the Beach Boys, Surfer Girl. Pretty yeah. much every night. Nice. I would request it. <laughs> Check that out. Raffy. That's, that's good stuff, dude. Raffy. Hey, don't Raffy. mess with Raffy. <laughs> <laughs> Raffy's like the Bob Dylan of children's oh, music. Oh, that's great. I used to sing, I like to eat apples and bananas like three times a day, minimum. <laughs> Can you sing it for us now? <laughs> so is Ra Isaac, is Raffy your earliest musical memory, or do you have something before that? I mean, my parents were uh, Beatles freaks, so yeah. I, I listened to all the Beatles records on vinyl um, nice. from a young age, but... The most vivid memory I have was definitely Raffy. <laughs> nice. Good yeah. stuff. How about you, Sean? Earliest musical uh, memory? Again, a lot of Beatles. I just remember I always wanted a drum set, and I asked Santa for it, and he kept bringing me, like, practice pads. <laughs> so I think it was, like, a leaving church. a hint. And then I was just like, one summer, uh, I mean, not summer. That's not when Christmas is. Um, <laughs> one, one winter, I was just like, is Santa going to bring me another practice pad, or should I not even ask? And then I got a drum set that year. <laughs> There you go. So that's Attitude. a pretty vivid, vivid memory. I See, Santa, you know, bags. Saint Nick knows shit, dude. He just wanted to make sure you were going to practice. He's like, oh, he's going to practice. Well, I'm torture. Looking if you name. practice it, you get a jump set. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, how about you, man? Your earliest musical memory? Uh, I had this little Elvis toy. So uh, I started listening to Elvis. Like, I had, like, an Elvis tape with, like, greatest hits. Yeah. So, yeah. What was the Elvis toy? What was that? It was, like, was some kind of collectible... Elvis thing, and you had like a guitar and like a mic stand, and I just like playing with it when I was really was little. Was it like a wind up thing, or was it like an action figure? No, no, I was just like, I, I don't know. I, it was just like an action figure kind of thing, yeah. I guess. Not really. It was just, it didn't like move or anything like an action figure. It wasn't like rubbery, it's like a little but it was just like, yeah. So it was like a little collectible thing, and I was like, my mom was like, oh, never take it out of the box. And I was like, yeah, first day, so it's out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's probably worth so much money. I know, I really, I really did. I still have it. To nice, the man, nice. The old Elvis stuff. Love it. Brandon, how about you, man? Um, Early dad would actually man. play a uh, piano to me when I was young, like yeah. really young. And uh, I would say one of the things that's like really, uh, it shows a lot about my musical past is there's this picture of me in my grandpa's house. And I must have been like one wearing boxers or whatever. And uh, I was just sitting on the piano, but I wasn't tall enough to reach, so I was sitting on this dictionary like that big. It was just no like a way. classic, classic picture, yeah. Dude, you got to tweet that shit out, man. However, <laughs> it's going to be, be on Twitter. It'll be on Twitter and like Or print it or something. Yeah, dude, that's dope. That's the good stuff, man. It lives with you forever. We're in the studio with Lucy Stone and the boys. Thanks for being here, you guys. Thank George you guys. is in the house, too, man. Let's yeah, George. You, George. Yeah, George. Word, man. Where'd he go? He's taking pictures somewhere. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, this song's analog. Do you remember when I gave you my heart? In another land, oh, in each other's arms.
Tree Live. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, I'd love to hear about a profound concert experience that you witnessed, a show that you went to that motivated you, inspired you, sort of exemplified to you how the, how the shit should be done. Well, I was lucky enough to see Paul McCartney live with my dad yeah. when I was about 12, I think. We had, second, we had second row seats, which was pretty awesome. Dang, you were getting sweat on. You were that close. Yeah. Where was that gig yeah. at? Where was that at? Uh, the now Wachovia Wells Fargo, mm. some in Philadelphia, the Except place the where one. they keep changing the name Is of it. Is that where the Sixers play? Anymore. Is that yeah. where it's at? Yeah, dig it. Nice. That's dope. How long ago was that? <laughs> when I was 12. It was about eight years ago, I think. Okay. Right on. Paul McCartney, they play a bunch of Beatles and shit. He played everything. He played like 40 straight songs. Nice. He's still got it. He's, he's the man. He's like a True. knight and shit. <laughs> Sean, how about you, man? Profound concert experience. Um, I think, well, it probably was my first con real big concert I went to. is was uh, The Who. Yeah. Same spot. Saw him at the Covia Center, which is whatever Ooh. it is now. Um, and walked in. We were like running a little late, and the opening band was playing. 
Was it Pearl they're Jam? Called, uh, they're called Pyro Radio. I was like, oh, who's Pyro Radio? And it ended up being the members of Pretenders. Right. Opening for The Who. I was like, holy cow, this is insane. Um, and they, that was almost better than watching The Who, was seeing the, <laughs> what was left of the Pretenders <laughs> play, and it was insane. Were they playing Pretenders songs? They were. Oh, they were playing man. Pretenders songs. They only played two, and they played the last two songs of Pretenders songs because I got called back out. Like, I came back, did an encore as an opening act, which I thought was, like, one of the coolest things. That is the shit. The and pretenders. The Who were good, too. <laughs> they, yeah, were they, good. Were they, they, they were there. They were there. <laughs> Dude, pirate radio. Love it. Like that, man. Pat, Paul, how about you, man? Um, I would say Bruce Springsteen. That's uh, a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the boss. Jersey boy. Yeah, uh, from Jersey. So, But uh, it was the last concert at Giant Stadium oh, before they knocked man. it down. Uh, and we had, like, front row tickets. Epic. And it was awesome. Standing right in front of Clarence. Oh, rest in peace, Clarence. Yeah. He's yeah. Bruce is playing uh, Chicago tonight, actually. Oh, really? He's playing Wrigley Field tonight and tomorrow. He's funny. That's funny. He was playing Philly yeah, when we were there. He's following, he following us. He's just following us. <laughs> Dude, yeah. You, you guys are on the road. You're going to be crossing paths with him. You're going to have to go <laughs> yeah. see him. It's for reals. Brandon, how about you? Earliest music? Or, excuse me, profound concert experience. Um, I went and I saw Radiohead for their M Rainbow yeah, tour. Yeah, stole mine. <laughs> but it was pretty profound because I saw it with my dad. And your dad was digging it. We were, totally we're in the it. lawn and like everyone was smoking and it was a good time. And dad was rolling with it. He was like, <laughs> this is how it is. He's, or whatever. he's French, so he's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, now the French people are way though. Where's he from in France? Man? Uh, Paris. Okay, did he? Yep. Did he, get a, did he get a Radiohead shirt? Of course. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. <laughs> I knew he did. <laughs> Isaac, how about you, man? What was um, well, since uh, Brandon stole Radiohead from me, <laughs> um, Bonnaroo, uh, two years ago, um, when Arcade Fire was headlining, it's not Arcade Fire, the actual show, but the Strokes. Um, mm -hmm. I, was, I was a huge Strokes fan, tried to see them for years, and I never got the chance, and I saw they were playing Bonnaroo, so I went down, and I waited like an hour and a half till they came on, and they were 45 minutes late for their set. And uh, Julian Casablancas walks on stage, drunk as hell. And he's like, I'm sorry about that shit. I got here late because I wanted to see Beirut play a couple songs. I'm like, what the fuck? That's badass. <laughs> and it was an awesome show. <laughs> nice, dude. You got mad love for the guy. Yeah. I'm feeling that. In the studio with Lucy Stone, Brandon, Isaac, Paul, and Sean. It's beautiful to have you here. Thanks for starting the day with us. Thanks for having us. This is awesome. This is Audio Tree Live, and we are in Chicago with Lucy Stone.
out you guys if you had a time machine oh, man. Oh, man. where would you decide to visit Ugh. not not to right or wrong or anything like that i'll I mean, take this one first <laughs> yeah I go you go sean 50s i'm a big Mad Men fan yeah and i just want to slick my hair back and wear suits <laughs> that's all i want to do <laughs> hook it you up dude do yeah that. i was gonna say you can you. still rock that yeah shit, but dude. i feel like I'd fit in better in the 50s. <laughs> right? Everybody's smoking cigarettes, including, like, your doctor and shit. Like, everybody. Right. Like, uh, let that. me check your lungs. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. Would you want to be in the advertising business, or would you oh, yeah. just want to wear those clothes? I can see myself doing that now, so. And in doing a band? band would even be, even you be could better. be in a band, too, like, at night. You could do the I'd advertising the ad business. agency and... band. Dope. Slicked hair. Hook it That's up, my, dude. That's my title. With you. It's really broken up, but it's... My title. Hey, you know, you're a renaissance man. You're doing a bunch of different shit. It's good. Brandon, how about you, man? Yeah, he kind of stole that from me. Time that's machine. Thing. Um, yeah, you sorry, can say thing. 50s, too, if you want. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. So you can wear the suits and shit? I'd probably grow out my hair, though. Definitely get the slick action. Right. Never done that, though, so I wouldn't know what it looks like. We can hook that up. Maybe <laughs> wait a second to take your time machine until you try it out. And then yeah, take yeah, time yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Paul, how about you? Time machine, where would you go? I don't know. I, I would say like '60s, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of a hippie, a little bit, not really, but yeah. You know. Got it, long hair. I got long hair. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't. I think uh, like with this next song, it's kind of like '50s, '60s, pop sounding stuff. So like you know, it's so all you, our influences from like you know old old time sound and rock, right? Dope. Yeah. So that can like transition to transition into we're going to the '60s in the next song or something like that. Yeah. Right? Sort of. Maybe. <laughs> Isaac, how about... Maybe. Where would you go, Isaac, if you had a time machine? Definitely the 60s. Um, Look at you cats, all going back to the 60s. Oh, yeah. Shit. I mean, things were... For music, things were, like, so revolutionary then. And I, just to be able to witness, like, all those artists, like, rock and roll being, like, the greatest thing in the world and the only thing in the world that mattered to most people at that, at that time... Like, to witness that and to see the Beatles, the Stones, Hendrix perform must have been, you know, a show of a lifetime. Woodstock like a mug, dude. Yeah. yeah. Let's go back. Lucy, how about you? Where would you go? I'm going to go dude? way far back. <laughs> go. Uh, prehistoric area. I want to see the dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Or the wow. 70s to see my parents in, like, high school, college years and oh, see how weird crazy. they were. No, I don't think no. I'm no, no, no. <laughs> going to say two types of dinosaurs if we can make a joke. <laughs> back to the future stuff. Going that's on. the shit. Would you want to be, like, a cave person or would you just want to be, like, a, a, a bug or something? <laughs> I don't want to be a bug. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes, like you know, that. bugs have... I didn't mean it like that. I just meant like you know do you want to be a person just observing yeah i feel like i wouldn't want to you might get eaten yeah get eaten i don't want to get maybe like a t-rex but then you have those little arms (laughs) (laughs) it'd be hard to reach things you can't scratch your own bag (laughs) dang it we're in the studio with lucy stone thank you guys for telling us about your time machine travels (laughs) only if it's in a delorean (laughs) where we're going we don't need roads uh, this next song is called Stalker. One, two, one, two, three, four. It's hard, it's hard, but 
I know you guys are getting ready to go on the road here for the long haul, but when you're at home, what's your favorite food to prepare for yourself and for others? What's your favorite foods to cook? I like making tofu. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> they don't like to eat it. No. <laughs> Everybody's shaking their head. What do you put? What do you, you like make tofu itself or like prepare oh, God, tofu? No. I wish I could do that. You know, a little soy sauce, some sesame oil, some, some scallions. Nice. Still want, still want to eat it. It sounds good. You like little uh, stir great. fry, little stir fry vibe. Absolutely. Sounded good, guys. You guys gotta hook that up. They're just jealous. I'll take a burger. <laughs> I'll do a burger. Yeah, Paul, you cook the burgers. You like cooking out? Yeah, or what? I'm a, I'm a barbecue guy. I got the barbecue. Grill master. Grill master. Yeah, grill master. Yeah, man. Yeah. Do you like put the shrimp in the burger ever, or what other things do you nah, like to cook? Nah, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I like cooking a nice steak, you know. Yeah. A nice burger, you know, and. Uh, Baked potato and shit. Baked potato, yeah, definitely. Right, maybe some corn. I like no, thing? I like doing the onions. You know, like grilling the onions, and then putting the onions on the burger. Now you put them in them. Yeah, stuff them? it. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, you put them in it too. Yeah. Okay, you can Dang it. Do you like cheese on your burger, man? Yeah, yeah, cheddar. Cheddar cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yes, dude. 
Can't have a burger without cheese. Let's not even mess around. Isaac, what about you, man? Come on. A nice filet with some mashed potatoes and asparagus. Yeah. I've never seen you cook that. <laughs> Check it out. I would every day if I could. <laughs> yeah, that's not your average meal. No. Well, that's a good one, though. That's good. Sean, how about you, man? I really just like burger. deviled eggs. Yeah, dude. That's a weird thing. And I, Weirdo. I'm not very good at making them. I don't know why. It's an easy thing to make. We got to take but I always the yolk get the texture get wrong. Like, yeah, a little mixture. But I'll eat all of my... We'll make tons of them, and I'll eat every single one for you. You'll hit a tray of, of, of deviled eggs. You'll just wolf those guys. Yeah, I'll hoard it. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> so you like hard-boiled eggs. eggs then, too. That's like the poor man's deviled egg. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's just regular hard I just put egg. some mustard in there and just say it's... Ah, like a man egg? <laughs> my bad. That's like from Arrested Development. I'm sorry. Brandon... <laughs> Favorite food to prepare? Baked mac and cheese. That's my Ooh, thing. Yeah, dude. Do you do it with the egg and the milk and like no actually egg, do it no raw? Or? But I do like breadcrumbs on top. Yeah. It's, it's good. That's the real deal. That's like, a, that's like you know, feel good food. Yeah, exactly. Comfort food. That's the word I was looking for. There's this place back home that does it, uh, the Continental. They yeah, put lobster oh in God. it. Oh. Lobster mac and Ooh. cheese? That's got to be some rich gear. It's, like, it's incredible. I mean, like riches, and you bite it, and you're like, whoa, that's sweet. Yeah, absolutely. It's also great. pretty costly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, also, it's also pretty high priced. Thank you guys for being here. I want to go cook out in the rain after this shit. <laughs> I to cook some fish and some definitely cooking burgers, Paul. So you don't have to worry about that. All right. <laughs> Cool. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you guys so much for being here. You guys got a couple more for us? Yes. Yep, exactly. this next song is called Katie. It's about a girl who doesn't like me very much. <laughs> and her name is Katie. <laughs> really, Sean? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta explain the joke. Well, maybe you don't it's, not, it's not about <laughs> Katy Perry. <laughs> <laughs>
Lucy Stone in the studio with us, Audio Tree Live. What current music are you guys listening to? What's your current musical loves, old or new music? I listen to like uh, St. Vincent on yeah. repeat. They she's, get really sick of it. She's rad, though, man. Yeah. She's awesome. I love her. Totally. Okay, so you guys, what do you guys do to counteract the St. Vincent? <laughs> when it's your turn to throw on the music, what do you guys do? Do you guys take turns in the van putting on music and my stuff? My radio doesn't work very well. <laughs> yeah, there's no bass I blew bass out all my speakers before I bought the van, and I didn't test the speakers before I bought it. I tested everything else, and the musician didn't test out the speakers. So, so you, we're kind of roughing it on the music aspect coming around, but... Whatever's on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> so you just got to get, like, a little bass tube at Radio Shack for, like, 40 bucks and connect that thing up. You'll be hooked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll, it's like a we'll laptop. pimp our ride at some point. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> Get your whip hooked up, dude. We'll ghost ride it. All right, so what are you, what are you guys listening to, though? If, if, even if it's on the low brow, like what's the low key or loud, not even loud, what are you guys jamming? Uh, local Natives. Yeah. I Bad really, again. really dig that album. Yeah. So good. I can't wait for them to like, come out with another one. These and guys are great. I haven't gotten a chance to see them yet either. I'm waiting. Dope. just saw Tallest Man on Earth. Great shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, that so guy's jealous. great. Isn't he? Awesome. he rages. Total picker, man. That guy's moving his hands fast. Yeah. Paul, what are you jamming? Uh, I love the Black Keys. We all like, we all like the Black Keys. Yeah, That's man. Awesome. I'm still stuck on that Brothers record, you know? Oh, yeah. Shit is like so some, good. It's like Isaac Hayes and shit. Seriously. Yeah. It's like the most soulful record ever made by white people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I mean, maybe not, but like, you know what I'm it's saying? One that of shit them. is deep. <laughs> yeah, man. We're in the studio with Lucy Stone. Thanks again for being here, you guys. You guys are getting ready. You guys are playing Rusted Root tonight with, with, in Chicago area yep. at the Lincolnshire Viper Alley. Everybody get their ass down there to check these cats. And then you guys are on. You guys are hitting the road. You guys are Toronto, Boston, Kingston, Plymouth, Tarrantown, Baldwinsville, Ithaca, Wilmington, State College, Thornville, Lansing, Des Moines, Minneapolis, Iowa City, Philly. The hometown show will be dope. Yeah. A little definitely. return there. Good stuff, you guys. Shit, that's a lot. That's good stuff. It's good that you're out here growing. And thanks again for starting your tour here with us today. No problem. Thanks for, thanks for having us. Thank you us. so much for having us. Yeah, no, this is awesome. Lucy Stone, Audio Tree Live. This song is called Tell Me to Go. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't slept in days Got a feeling I am in for trouble Can't pay my bills Now I'm gonna be paying double Oh, oh
Thank you guys again so much for being here today. Hey, let's give a big thanks to our videographers today. Yeah. Brian, Megan, Jane, and Justin in the house. Our engineers, Rick and Patrick. Woo. Michael Thank and Adam are in the house. Thank you guys. And much, much love to George, the merch man. Yeah, George. Yeah, George. Yeah, baby. Yeah, George. Let's not forget him. <laughs> Thank you guys again. This has been Audio Tree Live for Friday, September 7th, 2012. We've been in the studio with Lucy Stone. Thank you, Brandon, Isaac, Paul, and Sean. Thank you guys so much. Thank My you. name is DJ Evil Vince. Everybody have a very safe and beautiful day. Good night. Thank you guys so All much. Right. No, thank you. So dope. <laughs>